Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past playthrough. I am against Ganon again. I'm still trying to kill this jerk. He is just kicking my ass. It sucks so much. I'm hoping I kill him this time. But, oh man, he is a cheater. I swear. He cheats more than anything in this game cheats. It's crazy. So far, I got two hits on him with the bow. So that's good. So far. Um... Keep stunning him just perfectly. <laughs> I don't know how, but I am. Come on, good. Did I get him? Okay, good. Three times. I don't know how many times it takes to hit him with the bow. I really don't remember. Uh, but I'm gonna try and figure out. Is dead? Oh, I finally fucking killed him. Holy crap. Thank you. That is so awesome. I killed him. Yeah. Fucking amazing. That means the rest of this part will be like the Triforce getting. Then I'm gonna like do a speed run thing. But damn, I can't believe I finally killed him. That's so awesome. Hello, Triforce. I finally got you. I can return to the world. Welcome, casual. I am the essence of the Triforce. Dots. <laughs> So awesome, the Triforce will grant the wishes of the heart and mind of the person who touches it. <laughs> so stupid. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. Yay for the Triforce being so weird. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. Bum ba dum bum. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Hooray! Ganon was building up his power so he could conquer the light world and make his wish come completely true. That's awesome. But now you have totally destroyed Ganon. His dark world will vanish. Yay! Because I killed him, so now the world's gonna disappear and everyone in it's gonna die. Because it'll just cease to exist. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Ah, too bad the good guys in the Dark World can't st still live. Now touch it with a wish in your heart. Yay, then I'm gonna walk up to it, but I don't really press anything. He does it on his own, I think. Yeah, he does it on his own. Then he holds it up. And it's like, it's bigger than him because it's awesome and stuff. The Return of the King, Hyrule Calls. This is end credit stuff. I can't skip it. Uh, but yeah, this is end credit stuff, so that's cool. Uh, you guys watch it. Honestly, uh, you can buy this game on Virtual Console for Wii. That's what I've been in. Those guards were like the good versions of those evil guards I was killing throughout the game too. So that's cool. Uh, that guy's alive again or something. So that's pretty cool. And those guys there, fairy lady and all that stuff. The jerk woman that called guards on me because she was stupid. And the birdie and the sand temple or desert palace, sand temple, whatever. Same thing. And the thief <laughs> unlocking chests with a different color scheme than chests that I used in the rest of the game. Unless I think they were a different color scheme, I don't know. They looked like they were a little bit brighter. Those two guys, the guys from the dark, I guess they are alive, huh? Yeah, those, those were the guys in the dark world that were chasing each other around in that same area. His uncle and me and stuff, yeah. And if you have the blue mail, you have the blue mail there, so that's cool. Or if you have the green mail, then you have the green mail there, but good luck killing Ganon with the green mail, <laughs> that would be uh, kind of hard to do. I want to actually kind of see that on the speedrun now. <laughs> I might. 
I might have to take a look at that. I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. Alright, is that guy there? The magic, I don't know. It looks like they're like sitting and moving with their butt or something. And they're cutting another tree. I don't know where the hell they went during the game, but they're back. And they're cutting a tree. Yeah, Haunted Grove! Yay! And that guy doesn't disappear for his... Uh, either that's his dad or his grandpa, I don't remember. It's, it said earlier on in the playthrough, I don't remember what it said though. Fairies! Fairies! She's a green dressed winged fairy. They're still doing the same thing. But they know the camera's looking at them wanting their approval, so they bow. Because that's how Japanese people show certain kinds of respect and other stuff. I don't remember all the stuff they do bow for, but they do like bow and stuff for like respect and stuff. That's kind of cool. And now he's got a golden bug catching net instead of the white one. So I never returned my net to him. I kept the net, and he just got a new one. A golden one. The rich son of a bitch has a golden net. <laughs> so dumb. And he's still lost because he's the lost old man who's always lost. <laughs> Yay, the thief that I never showed you. And actually, the little green things that were there before it showed the thief. Uh, the one that would look all weird and stuff before, like, it, with the other three green things. That's what it looks like when you pour fairy dust on them or magic powder on them or whatever. And the Master Sword is no longer gold or anything. It's regular and it's there. So that's, that's cool. And I don't remember if it resets or not, does it? Did it? Is it showing more credits? I don't remember. I asked. Okay, it's showing more credits. I don't want to show all the credits and stuff because it's like the end. So I'm just going to do this and go reset because I pretty much beat it. I don't think any, I don't remember if anything actually happened. So reset. I think you're able to do that. There we go. Derp and derp. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Hurry up. Let me press A. I can't skip it. It's mean. Okay, there we go. How's it going, Speedy? Oh, hey, it looks, says four. It's weird. I wonder why it says four. I'm not sure. This is for some reason, but I'm not sure why. It's been too long since I killed Ganon. Obviously, I didn't kill him on this one because, like, yeah, screw that. But it says four there. I don't remember why. I'll have to look it up or something. Okay, and this one is a speed run. It's going to only take, like, five minutes or something. So the timer actually stops or starts for the speed run. Normally, when people do the speed run of stuff, it starts the moment you get out of the bed. The moment you hop up. Because that's when you officially start playing. Because, like, this is just intro cutscene and stuff. But some people count cutscenes and stuff, too, because they have to press a button. So let's hop on up. There we go. I'm ignoring the lantern. I do not need it. So that's going up this way. Hopping up here. It looks like the beginning of the game. Sure enough, doesn't it? Except the, the blur I had. On, like, the first 11 parts of this playthrough were messed up on accident because I forgot to change the aspect ratio of the blur. I, like, forgot I could do that. Uh, because it's, like, zoomed in blur, but I also have to change it from a 16 by 9 sort of thing to a uh, 4 by 3 ratio. So there we go. I got the sword. Now I gotta go down here. This is going to be really, really quick, too. It's going to be funny how quick it is, actually. I think I'm going to see some really weird mess-ups that are actually pretty good to see, like, if you've never seen them before. Ah, damn you, jerk. Damn you, jerk. Ah, it slowed me down a little bit. I don't care. I don't, I'm not, like, trying to break any records or anything here. I'm just like, yeah, this is, like, speedrun sh shit and stuff. This is, like... The fastest way to beat the game just because of a glitch. A very simple glitch. It is so messed up. So, okay. 
without the lantern or anything going down here. Timer just went off. I want to hit those guys from the proper side. I don't want to get that chest. And just jump down right here. Ignore him. Yeah, you can hit those guys from the proper side and, like, kill them really fast and easily. And they'll, like, not be a problem because they're a little sword that's always just sort of, like, sticking out. I don't know why I stuttered there. It was, like, couldn't decide on a word or something, I guess. Whatever. I don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> And this guy I gotta kill, so stand up here. I right, gotta kill them, then I gotta go up here. Because I gotta kill this guy for the key. There we go. Kill him for key. Go through the door. Gotta go up. I'm going up. I'm already almost done with this little speed run, too. It's that that simple. I'm almost done with the speed run. <laughs> it's crazy. Super crazy. So, okay. Kill you. You actually do have to speak to Zelda for this speed run to actually work out properly. The reason for that is just because then it, like, saves your point into this dungeon. And that's where you want to be. There we go. I got the big key. So let's go speak to her and then start leaving the place a little bit. So speaking to her. Yes, I understand. Okay. We can go, ignoring everything else, going upstairs. I'm not going all the way through the dungeon in this area either. Obviously, I can't do that in five minutes. But you're actually going to see Ganon and everything. So that's going to be cool too. So, alright, go down. You can actually explore the entire game's world by doing this little trick I'm about to do. Uh, but it's gonna look glitchy and weird because we're not supposed to do it because it is a glitch and then save and quit when you're in air It has to be in air and speedy And get hit there we go then I just go to the right then I go up <laughs> So what happens is it sets you under tiles and stuff so you're actually a floor lower or something So I'm actually going up. I have to keep going up for quite a ways and that's the wrong color, but it'll, like, switch to normal in a sec. Uh, there we go. Switch to normal. And stuff is obviously glitched up. It's using the wrong textures and everything. It's, like, not knowing what to do. You keep going. I'm still going up, too. Well, I'm not, like, changing directions. I'm just in the dungeon a bit. So, yeah, you can't really see me yet. There we go. I could walk around in that hole there and let you see me, but I don't feel like doing that. I'm just going up. Uh, at the side of the screen, another dark area. I have to go up more. Still going up. Still going up. There we go. <laughs> Little secret area that I got already in the main thing. I think up here, I have to go left. Uh, once I get up top, right? Yeah. There we go. Then I have to go up more. So there's two Ganons. Yeah, okay. Blah, blah, blah. I know you want to kill me. I don't care. And I beat the game. Speed run! It's awesome! <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to speed through this little dialogue stuff. But yeah, that is the end of this playthrough too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad I finally got to do this playthrough. I've been wanting to for quite a while. I remember getting that piece of crap easy cap thing because I didn't have the money for an actual capture card. I was like, God damn, this thing was a waste of money. It doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. And uh, now I use Elgato HD Capture and stuff because I plan on making sure I can continue doing playthroughs when I can't continue doing computer game playthroughs. Uh, that's basically because obviously I don't have the money for a new computer. But I am going to be doing like Nintendo Wii U games and stuff like Zelda Wind Waker HD. I, actually, I think by the time this video is out, that game is already out as well. I don't know. Uh, right now it is actually, I don't know, sometime in July that I'm finishing this. And I started three months ago. And I've just been so busy I couldn't finish it. But I am planning to get other stuff done after this one. Uh, you guys already know, but I'm going to uh, like start another game. And you guys are already seen it. Uh, this is part of like a four or five video upload series per day. So that is kind of cool.
I'm going to try and do that as much as I can, but I can't guarantee that I'll always do that just because it takes a lot of time and a lot of getting ahead of schedule just to do that. So I uh, just want to see him standing at the house first just to see what he has. <laughs> the rain's not working either. So <laughs> that's great. Check out the messed up cutscene. The guys and stuff, they're miscolored. <laughs> it's so awesome. Check that out. Look at the ghosting there. <laughs> it is amazing. Look how screwed up this gets just because being on the wrong layer. Even her clothes are bright and the rest is dark. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. You can actually get out of the area you start at too uh, by doing this glitch and make it so you can run around where everything's raining and it can explore the entire game but there's really no need it just looks weird sometimes and you'll run into like graphical glitches of course but seriously this is is it's so funny even the fucking teleporter there it's like it's frozen it's not moving the animation the rain's not moving. They're standing outside. See, I'm in the green. I'm using the regular sword. I'm using the shield. That is awesome. There's no rain here, which is weird. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a way to uh, make it so you can run around in Dark World without the Moon's Pearl and not be a rabbit, too. But I don't remember how to do that or anything. It doesn't matter. But yeah, that is the end of the playthrough. Um, I'll see you guys on something else. Bye! Here's a little extra thing just for anyone that still happens to be watching for the end parts of this here video. Uh, if you start your file back up after beating the game with the glitch that I showed you during the speedrun, you'll end up loading it in the dark world, but you won't really be in the dark world entirely You'll only be partially in the dark world zelda doesn't have a dark world form so she just uses her regular form and what happens here is that it's really a combination of the dark world and the light world so some enemies like what you will see down here as you can see right there the guy kind of has a bow and he'll shoot a bow he is using a combination of both light world and dark world guards because he's supposed to be using the spear thingy he has Anyways, that is the end of this video for sure this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it and comment, like, subscribe, and share if you do. Uh, that would be awesome. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in something else. Bye.